Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how you can use userchrome.css to make your Firefox look like mine. Uh, so I've had a couple questions over the last few days in the comments sections about how I, um, you can make your Firefox look like my setup. And I've just decided I'm just going to make a video about it. It's fairly easy. It's not anything that's overly complicated unless you actually get through and go through and uh, actually create your own CSS stuff and then it could get very complicated and you'd have to know CSS. In this case, all you have to do is take some code snippets that are readily available on the internet and put them in a certain file and you're done. Uh, well, I mean, it's almost that simple. You have to enable it first, but and then I'm going to show you how to do all that. So let's go ahead and jump over into the and show you what we're going to be doing here. Now, this is what Firefox looks like out of the box. You know, it's just a, a normal Firefox install. And in order to actually go through and do what we're going to do, you have to enable the capabilities. So in order to do that, you have to go to about.config. About colon config, not dot config, excuse me. And they'll bring up here. Now you'll, you may get a warning saying, hey, oh my goodness, you're editing settings that you probably shouldn't be setting. Just go ahead and bypass that and say yes or whatever the option is to continue on. Um, you, there's also an option there that just say don't show this to me ever again. I've I've selected that because if I'm in here editing something, chances are I'm here in here to edit something. I don't need to be told don't edit this, if you know what I mean. So in, the first, what you need to do here is type in this here toolkit dot legacy, and there's only one option here. Once you've typed in this, you probably won't even have to finish the words. Yours will say false like this. So you just want to click this button so it says true. And then you can close this tab. That's how you enable Firefox. to. Basically what you're saying is, Firefox, I'm going to be using my own CSS for your UI. Look for it. Otherwise, it's automatically just going to, going to continue to look for the default uh, CSS stuff that, and it, that makes it look like this. So the next thing we will want to do is go and open up a terminal. So I have a terminal open here. And you're going to want to find your profile folder on your computer. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure that this is in the same spot for everybody, but it is named something different. So it will depend on, it'll have some weird letters and numbers in, in it, but I think it's they're all in the same location. If I'm wrong on that, I will leave a link in the video description on uh, how to find your profile folder. It's very easy, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure that they're all in the same spot. So what you want to do is CD into dot Mozilla and slash Firefox. Now, I, I actually should say this. This is for Linux. I'm not sure how this would look on Mac OS or Windows. So, um, if you're on Mac OS or Windows, click on the link in the video description to find out where your profile folder is because I'm not sure if they're in the same spot on other operating systems. For sure, this is where I'm pretty sure, uh, I should say, I'm pretty sure this is where they all are on Linux. So you just want to seed into this and do an ls. And the one you're going to want is the one that says default slash release. And it'll have some weird letters and numbers here in uh, in front of it. The, the, that's where yours will be different. Because mine's Y70HJAXA. Yours will look something different. You'll also have one called default. default. Ignore that one. You'll want the default release one. So what you want to do is cd into that. CDY7. Okay. And then do an ls here. Now, yours will look a little bit different because you will not have a chrome.old folder here. Uh, that's just my actual main config file for Firefox. Uh, but just know that yours, you won't have that. So what you'll need is to make a directory here called Chrome. And it's just mkdir chrome. And then you want to cd into that folder. And if you do an ls, it's completely empty. So the next thing we want to do is to touch, use the command touch, user, capital C, chrome.css. Okay? And then we're going to want to use a some kind of text editor in order to get into that file. So I'm going to use vim. So just use user chrome.css. And then you'll come in here and you'll see a blank vim document. Now, the question is, what do you put in there? Now, this is where our paths can diverge. If you're a CSS guy and you know your own CSS and stuff, 
you can go through and use the Firefox wiki or whatever that I'm going to link below for it's on Reddit and they can there's a little tutorial or whatever on there on where to find whatever classes and IDs and stuff you need in order to make changes. I'm not going to get into that. What I'm going to do is actually steal some code from somebody else. Um, I'm excuse me. I'm going to appropriate some co code from someone else uh, that they've kindly shared to the internet. <laughs> and um, there's just tons of this stuff out there, so it's easy, very easy to go through and just you know do. And really, I'm just going to show you that. So this is the code that I'm talking about. It's, it's on Reddit by a guy named Mr. Other Guy. Thank you, Mr. Other Guy. There are just tons and tons of little effects that you, or uh, tweaks that you can make to Firefox using this code. Now, you can add as many of these things as you want. Obviously, putting some things of the some of these things together won't make sense. Uh, you, there's no reason to use a multi-line and a one-liner code because those two things conflict. And chances are your Firefox won't even load if you use both of them. So, use code here that makes sense to put in, you know, together. Uh, I'm going to just choose the one-liner one that I had before. It's just a little bit of code, and what we want to do is choose nav bar tabs one-liner menu buttons. This is the one that I want right here, and what I want to do is copy from the bottom to the top. Okay, and then just Control C on that, and then we want to go back to our terminal and Control Control Shift V in order to put some code in here, the, the code that we just copied, and then we're just going to want to save that. So I'm just going to save it, and then we'll go back here to our Firefox, and we're going to quit. Okay, and then we're going to restart Firefox, and as you can see, um, yeah, that's not the way that's supposed to look. I don't know why there's an extra bar over here. Uh, that's not the, apparently that's not the one that I used. Um, as you can see, some things, sometimes things go wrong. So it, when when something goes wrong, just um, oops, go here and go to the top, enter visual mode, and go to the bottom, and then delete this. And we go back to three, quit this, restart Firefox. We're back to where we began. Uh, apparently that was the wrong one, so we're just going to try one of the other ones. This is the best way to do it: is just to go through and trial trial and, trial and error. Uh, nav bar is where we were at before. Nav bar one liner, that's the one we did before. Tabs on left. No, we don't want tabs on left. Maybe this is just the one that I wanted. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done mine, so. Uh, I just copy and paste this. Go to 4, Control Shift V, write this, and then go back to three and quit this and restart Firefox. Yeah, there we go. That's the right one. And that's basically all I've done. Now, in mine, I've gone through and, and um, hidden the hamburger menu. Uh, you may have to Google how to do that. I don't know where, I don't remember where I got that code. Uh, but that's the only other solution I've done. Now, some of these, he these um, tweaks or whatever, Will require you to use the compact version of Firefox. So if you'd right click and click customize, and down here where it says destiny, Dens density, hit, com hit compact, that would allow you to make it look right. If you use normal, sometimes the tabs overhang a little bit. You can't really see that. I mean, if you zoomed in a little bit, you probably could see that those overhang a little bit. So you just use the compact version, and that's it. So that is, oops, went to the wrong one. That is basically all there is to it. Um, like I said, in the video description, I will link to all those code snippets. Play with them a little bit. Make sure when you find something that works, you back it up and then just, you know, mix and match as much as you can, as much as you want. Sometimes some things will not work. So you just delete, you know, whatever didn't work and go back to the one that did work um, or start over again. Just delete the user Chrome file, create a new one and start over. Um, that list of CSS hacks is pretty cool. It's very extensive. And there's a lots of stuff you can do. Some, some of them don't work. Some of them do work. Uh, some of them are for older versions of Firefox and so on and so forth. You just try what works. Um, that's the one-liner one is the one that I use. So uh, thanks for watching. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icons. Uh, we're looking for a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're getting close to 250, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching again.